Welcome to this lecture where we'll be looking at achieving electric mobility within the context of sustainable urban mobility planning. What is a sustainable urban mobility plan? This is an integrated strategic long-term transport planning with clear goals and monitoring that aim at better accessibility and quality of life for the functional urban area. The essence of the Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan is divided into eight principles. The first being that we need to plan for sustainable urban mobility within the functional urban area. There is need to cooperate across uh, relevant institutional boundaries. We need to have uh, citizen participation and stakeholder participation for a sustainable urban mobility plan to be well formulated. We need to assess the current and future performance of the transport system. We need to define a long-term vision and a clear implementation plan. We need to develop all transport modes in an integrated manner arrange for monitoring and evaluation and assure quality of all the initiatives and strategies that are being implemented. The e-mobility ecosystem is typically two worlds coming together. We are looking at the mobility ecosystem, which has the mobility departments, the traffic authorities, road users, and transport operators coming together with the energy ecosystem, which looks at the charging infrastructure, the utilities, the energy providers, and energy departments. It is important then if we look at e-mobility um, within the context of sustainable urban mobility plan, we need to be aware that we will need to look at new cooperation methods and frameworks. Different levels of expertise are needed. We need to identify relevant stakeholders and roles and work together with internal departments such as planning departments and external cooperation through private-public partnerships, as well as uh, research through the academia. So how can sustainable urban mobility planning support mobility innovation? The SUMP can flexibly adjust to local and regional context and planning status. Its approach allows for methodical um, adaptation to the complexities and technical requirements of innovative mobility solutions. Sustainable urban mobility planning supports the integration of different sectorial plans ensures a strategic and user-centered infrastructure and development, as well as steering of effective stakeholder and citizen involvement. As mentioned before, electric mobility is more than just electrifying cars. The electric car itself is not a solution, but it needs to be powered by renewable energy. So the potential of immobility to reduce greenhouse gas emissions depends crucially on the energy source and it can only be realized if charging is predominantly achieved using renewable energy. We also need to look at the spatial distribution of electric vehicles. We are currently facing a lot of congestion in our cities and the electric car specifically consumes as much space as a conventional fossil fuel vehicle. When we talk about moving towards electric vehicles, we are not saying that we, we should promote the use of the private car, but instead, we are saying that other vehicles such as buses and shared mobility should be electrified. We need to improve road safety overall and address vulnerable road users. And this, of course, requires more than just electrifying cars. This is where the connection for the sustainable urban mobility planning comes in, whereby electrifying vehicles has to be done within a wider context of sustainable urban mobility planning. A good example of a situation whereby electric vehicles can prove problematic is as was seen in Norway, whereby electric vehicles were given the incentive to have free parking so that the population could be encouraged to acquire um, more electric vehicles. Unfortunately, the electric vehicle drivers were stripped of their right to drive in bus lanes in Oslo because the take up of electric vehicles was so high and they were becoming an inconvenience to bus uh, drivers who needed to have the right of way on the road. So in this case, even though the vehicles were sustainable from um, an energy perspective, they were not sustainable for the city because they were not operating or they were not being friendly with the other road users within that city. A lesson that we are learning from this is electric vehicles have to comply with the requirements of sustainable urban mobility planning. And this requires innovative thinking on the part of decision makers and also of the users. What you see here are examples of roadmaps for transport electrification in sustainable urban mobility plans. Of course, you can look at examples from Barcelona, 
uh, from London and also from the Netherlands. And here you will see what are some of the decisions or some of the strategies and roadmaps that decision makers have adopted in these cities. So the assessment in this case is to reflect in your own words how electric mobility can be implemented with a sustainable urban mobility planning approach within your context. Thank you very much for joining this lecture. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.